Like this, you know, encouraged to see the guys get it to extras, disappointed that you couldn't finish it off. You know, how do you kind of view a game like this? Uh, I don't know. Obviously, you want to, you know, you win the first two. You like to win the series. Uh, Zeus gives us a good game. Uh, obviously, threw the ball well. I had the one little inning right there. Uh, gives us seven innings. Uh, you know, two runs. You'd like to be on the board, but to get the home run late from Nick and, you know, and then Miggy scalds that ball the last inning, you, you know, you'd like to win the game. So, I mean, I don't know. You know, obviously you're wanting to win. You get disappointed in those games. Just with Jesus, you know, getting him back out there for the seventh after, uh, you know, maybe some, some struggles in that sixth inning, just how important was that for him and, and that being a part of the, the learning process, right? Well, I want to give Zeus a chance, you know, he, he threw the ball so well. Had the one inning where it was a little bit rough. Um, you know, Pinder kind of blocks him down the line over there for for a couple of runs. Uh, just wanted to give him a chance to go back and give our guys a chance to you know get a, get him a couple of runs. Uh, you know, and get him off the hook. So I really wanted to get him get him back out there. And you get the the runs late in the ball game, but just really those first seven innings. You know, what made their guys so tough uh, that made it. A struggle to, to get much going offensively. Yeah, he was. It was a little bit of country hardball today. He was just throwing fastballs for the most part. He mixed in a breaking ball now and then, but for the most part, it was like, you know, here it is, and and we seemed to have trouble picking him up a little bit. He, you know, obviously he's not high on the velo radar, but obviously he's doing something that that guys don't pick it up and it gets on him or something, right? I, obviously I'm, I'm not up there, so I don't know, but. You don't see guys through swing through that many pitches, you know, maybe at 98 or 9, but not at 91. Uh, so something obviously he does. But he definitely challenges you with the fastball. And uh, so, yeah, there wasn't a lot of tricks to it. I think 37 out of the first 38 pitches or something like that were fastballs. I mean, he was just coming at you. A flyer in the 10th when to that uh, was Tanner not available or just decision for her? Here's our closer, so yeah. we're going to pitch him in a tie there after he's pitched two in a row and three out of four. Uh, it was all left spot for us, so I thought it was the right spot. Cross up, was it a cross up with Fortes or just missed? I'm not sure. The slider looked like it was, I don't know how far it was off in there. It's hard to tell from that, from our angle, but uh, obviously it got by him there, and I'm not sure sure why. Lizardo in the in the sixth, uh, but the third time through the order, it didn't seem like he was really doing much different. Though, I mean, was there anything specific that you noticed why they were able to get to? No, I, th I think they get the. I can't. I can't remember how the, the first guy gets a hit. I believe maybe it was it. Maybe it was a, was it the first hit of the game? Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they they bunt him over. Uh, they they get him over, so it puts you know obviously pressure on us right away at that point to be able to get him out. Um, and not, not a whole lot different. Um, I, and then he goes back out and does the same in the, in the seventh that they did. Uh, I think it's Al in the top of the order, kind of fights him and fights him, fouls a bunch of balls off and just, you know, puts a ball in play and, and it drops. Uh, so the re, he gets rewarded for putting the ball in play and obviously it hurt us. Did you notice anything? I mean, there was so much. Everyone wanted to talk to him when he got here. And uh, did you think he was a little more amped up for this or did you, was he just kind of the same? Uh, I th well, the LA game, he was amped up for sure out there, and and this one, we we thought he would be excited, and he, and he he's always excited, honestly. Uh, but I think he's been managing his you know delivery and his effort, like staying in his delivery, even when he's he's amped. So he's definitely always amped, and I think he was excited to pitch here. Uh, I think anybody would be that you know starts a career in, in the organization and then gets traded. Swing in the ninth inning, you know, what is that process like in that at bat of, of balancing being patient but wanting to be aggressive as well, knowing that one swing can tie the ball game? Um, honestly, nothing really changes in my approach. I felt like I had good swings all day and I was seeing it well, so I just kind of wanted to stick with what I'd been doing the whole game and um, just trust it, and that's pretty much all I did. What does a game like this maybe mean to you where you not only make an impact at the plate, but obviously, you know, do a great job calling the game as well? Yeah, I just, you know, take pride in what I do behind the plate. You know, if I don't have a good game hitting wise, I try to do everything I can behind the plate. Um, so today, you know, I felt like I did everything I could on both sides of the ball. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work out, but, you know, just 
go out there every day and you know put days like that together over and over again and hopefully you know the team is better for it at the end of the day how special was it for jesus to have a game like that given the fact he came from the a's organization comes back to pitch here and has a great game yeah it's super special for him he looked amazing he had the one rough inning with a couple you know hits that were a little unfortunate but you know all in all it was a really really solid performance like he has been you know the past couple outings did you notice anything different in that sixth no nothing different i mean you know he just gave up a leadoff hit you know walk a couple you know unfortunate hits and that's just how it happens sometimes but no nothing different what impressed you most about that seventh for him you know able to come back out and, and finish strong it says a lot you know um, you know a lot of guys that don't have you know the mental strength like he does will go out there and let that last inning affect them but you know he obviously flushed it moved on and was able to get through that seventh which is you know huge for us in our bullpen finally getting the opportunity to take the mound today what were the emotions like yeah definitely trying to just keep my emotions in check um going into the start you know just facing a lot of guys that i knew um a lot of old teammates and you know in the coliseum back in the bay area uh but it was good you know i i felt like once i got the first pitch out of the way i was just back to normal that seventh inning in particular for you to be able to come back out and finish strong after you know finally getting some traffic on the bases in the six just how how critical do you feel like an inning like that is for you and your your growth process well, I think it's huge, and um, you know, just thankful for you know Donnie and Mel uh, to give me the opportunity to run back out there. And after giving up two in the sixth, um, you know, struggling a little bit, even with like 90 pitches, I think it was, um, you know, them giving me the confidence to run back out there and me get you know three up, three down right there. Uh, I think it was huge confidence for me. Um, kind of shows the confidence that they have in me as well. Um, so I'm thankful for that, and I was glad to be able to do it. In that sixth inning, I think it was the third time through the order. Did you feel like the hitters were starting to make some adjustments on you? Um, not necessarily. I mean, I feel like I got backed off at times, you know, if, uh, I mean, kind of hit, hit a change up through a hole that I threw a shift, uh, beat Allen at, at why, well, you know, I felt like it, he, he's a good hitter, but I feel like I beat him in. I got him to j a jam shot, you know, he kind of flicked it over, um, the second baseman's head. I didn't think, you know, it, it was necessary. Like they, they got the best of me or I got the best of them. I think it was just, you know, they, they were hitting well and they put it in the right spots at times. I know that's baseball, but is it tough when that's how the two runs come to you with how the first five went? Uh, I just, I just think it's baseball. Um, I mean, if, if they were if they came out and hit bang me off the wall a couple times, uh, I feel like I'd be a little more frustrated probably. Um, you know, it's just good teams find ways to score runs, and that's a good team over there. And, um, you know, they found ways to, to make it work, and they scored two, you know, not necessarily um, n needing to square it up. And, you know, uh, that's just, like I said, a good team. And uh, I think it's just baseball. I'm going to tip my cap, and that's that. It was only five innings, but did you, did you allow the thoughts of a no-hitter to end? Uh, um, it, I'd be lying if I told you I didn't. Um, yeah, definitely after the fourth, I was like, hmm, there's you know, there's no hits up there. Um, probably have to keep that in check a little bit, but uh, yeah, it definitely crept into my mind. This was a good series for you guys, just uh, being able to after two really good starting outings for the first two games, for you to be able to kind of cap that series with another good start. How nice is it to see that all coming together? Oh yeah, I mean it was amazing. Um, you know, our, I feel like our pitchers. Uh, and our hitters in the first two games, you know, really came out hot. Um, Cabby pitched incredibly well. Pablo pitched incredibly well yesterday. I felt like, you know, I wanted to come out here and follow that trend. Um, but, yeah, I, I feel like this was a, a you know a good, good series, a, right, a step in the right direction. I feel like we want to keep that rolling. Just with Nick calling the game, you know, I, it feels like there's a lot of trust there. Just what did you feel was his greatest strength today in calling this game for you? Yeah, I mean, Nick, um, you know, he's young, um, but at the same time, he does so much homework. And uh, I see all the work that he puts in, him and Stallings, but, um, you know, speaking on Nick, it just he puts in all this work that uh, it, it's tough not to trust the guy. Um, so, you know, when he's out there and he's calling stuff, and, and we're kind of thinking along the same, you know, I, I shake very rarely. Um, but when we're going on the same path, I basically know what fingers he's putting down before he even puts them down. Um, I feel like that's, you know, the role that you want to be on. What do you think what the A's did, too? You don't see often when you make your return, they, they put up a message on the scoreboard. You know, Amelia, the PA announcer, mentioned, you know, welcome back. And yeah. No, I mean, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm very thankful for the A's, um, for all the opportunities they gave me. They gave me plenty of opportunities. Um, you know, probably wish my career would have been better when I was over there. But uh, just thankful, you know, so many good people over there, uh, organization-wise, uh, player-wise, coaches-wise. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be where I am today without them, so I'm grateful for them for sure.